over the pond. for work that the public service can and should be doing. Mr. Speaker, how does the minister explain handing over $12 billion to their corporate friends? Alright, here we have something from like three, two years ago. Uh, the conservatives have been harping on and, and still hasn't been fixed. Internet is mandatory in the future if you want to get the people in towards talk about inequality in Canada, we have to talk about reliable access to fast, affordable internet. Big Telecom has a stranglehold on the market, with government regulation preventing any meaningful competition or protection for consumers. Every one of us in this place, regardless of stripe, should be working to beyond, move beyond this archaic current state. The Prime Minister is getting lobbied hard to overturn a ruling that would allow for more competition. More needs to be done, but at a minimum, will the Prime Minister uphold this ruling? Good question. The Honourable Minister for Women and Gender Equality. I'm grateful to hear that every single member of this House is going to work together to ensure that here, here. Canadians, regardless of where they live, have access to high-speed internet. It is certainly a commitment by our government, backed by significant funding. Over 400,000 households have been connected since we formed office. Here, here. And Mr. Speaker, I can assure my honourable colleague that we are going to work very hard to make sure that every Canadian is able to benefit from the social and economic opportunities that come with connectivity. Here, here, here. The Canada Revenue Agency revealed in the Serving Canadians Better report that 83% of respondents had a service experience that did not meet their needs. 